Anyone searching for a place to dine here in the mountains of Western Sweden has to look closely. When planning the Tusen restaurant, Stockholm architects Hans Merman and Ulla Alberts wanted to establish a close link to nature. We wanted it to be a landmark, but still we wanted it to, to uh, work with the nature around. So uh, we wanted to, therefore we chose birch logs on the facade. So the snow will stay on it during the winter and the nature has given us the material, the facade material. The peaks surrounding the town of Ramund Berget are about 1,000 meters above sea level. A ski region that's somewhat of an insider tip, attracting cross-country skiers, snowboarders and alpine ski enthusiasts. The season starts in mid-December and the restaurant is a magnet for the visitors. First they don't see anything, just a, a lot of uh, birch trunks standing up and they are we wanted them to, to get curious, to get inside, to have a look at what they will find inside. Once they've crossed the threshold, they'll encounter modern Scandinavian design. The only rustic feature, the birch bark interspersed on the walls. The circular building offers panoramic views. We have all the beautiful mountains around that we wanted to have contact with. It's open to the, to the south, to the, to the sun, so you can look at the skiers coming down from the outside. And you have the, the calm horizontal line where you have no people, you are in the, in the wilderness. These designs date back to early 2008. The house looks a bit like a snail's shell. Later, the basic design took on a circular form with a pointed facade, reminiscent of a Sami tent. It's a wooden construction with steel beams in the bottom and uh, we have made a building with very low impact on the ground. You could move everything and uh, in a couple of years it, it doesn't leave a footprint. And, uh, and that is uh, work with the traditional way of the Sami people build a house too. They, they made no, not so much impact on the nature. Swedish traditions with a modern twist. That's reflected not only in the architecture, but also in the restaurant's choice of dishes. Noodles, soups and salads. The food here is light on calories. Head chef Jonas Hamlund wanted to serve recipes containing ingredients typical of the region. Locally caught fish, reindeer meat, or regional types of mushrooms. The philosophy of the kitchen is to make traditional food made out of traditional uh, um, uh, stuff, and, and uh, but have a little twist that makes it more more genuine and more more, more modern. The Tucson restaurant is now open the whole year round, attracting skiers in the winter and hikers in the summer.